Hey what's going on YouTube welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your performance and get better FPS in Hell Divers 2. So make sure to watch this video till the end do leave your specs in the comments below and with all that said let's get started. Alright, step number one is the compatibility settings for Hell Divers 2 and for that you can simply search for Steam on your PC where you have purchased the game, right click on your game, then go over to manage, then click on browse local files. Once you are in the game files, you have to open up the bin folder in which you will find your Hell Divers 2.exe. Right click on this, go over to properties and then go to compatibility, click on disable full screen optimizations, then click on change DPI scaling, select the first option, then simply click on OK and apply. Step number two is the best window settings and for that you can simply search for settings on your PC and once you are over here you can go over to gaming section then go over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background which might give you FPS issues. Once you're done with that go back to gaming then open game mode and enable this as it will disable all kind of notification whenever you're playing the game ultimately giving you better fps then you have to click on the graphic settings over here click on change default graphic settings enable the first and second option first option will help you to utilize your graphic card for playing the games and second one will help you to reduce your input latency once you're done with that go back to graphics and then over here you'll find a list of all of your apps and games on your pc you have to simply click on the browse button Find the install location of your Helldivers 2, simply open it up, go over to the bin, add Helldivers2.exe in this list. Go over to options, select high performance and then simply click on save. Once that is done, simply close your settings. And if you don't want to spend your time leveling up in game and you want some professional coaching, this video's sponsor Sky Coach is just the one for you. They help you harvest your medals, power leveling and even sample farming for fastest gearing and level up. They have served over 150,000 customers and the reviews are awesome. Sky Coach offers coaching in almost 30 plus games so you should go check out Sky Coach to improve your skills and you can find the link in the description below. Now let's go to the third step that is the local group policy editor. This one will only be available for Windows Pro users. So you have to search for local group policy. Once you are in this list, what you have to do is in the computer configuration, go over to administrative templates. In here, go to Windows components, then app privacy. And in here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click on this thing and this window will open right in front of you. Click on enabled default for all applications, select force deny and click on apply. This will ensure that whenever you're using an application in the full screen mode, there are no applications running in the background. Once you're done with that, simply close your local group policy editor. Next step is deanimating your windows and it is super simple. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're here, simply click on adjust for best performance. Then click on show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts and save taskbar thumbnail previews. Once that is done, simply click on apply. After that, head on to the advanced settings, then processor scheduling, set this thing to programs, click on the change button under virtual memory and now you will be setting your virtual memory. Deselect automatically manage page file size and then you have to click on custom size, set the initial size to 1361, it is just a bit over 1 GB, then open up calculator on your PC, multiply your installed physical memory that is your RAM with 1024. I have 32 GB RAM and if you want to see yours, you can simply search for system information on your PC and then you'll find install physical memory right over here. Now you have to simply multiply this number by 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole thing by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to put in the maximum size. What this will do is it will automatically purge your memory and it will make it free every time it goes above the half of your value. And the initial size is the value that it will be purging your memory up to if that is possible. Once that is done, simply click on the set button and click on apply. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC. Over here, look for your local disk C, click on create and name it Hell Divers 2 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and close system properties. Next step is Hell Divers 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply go and download it from there or you can join my Discord server to download it 
right away. Over here, you'll find in four simple folders. First one is CPU priority. Simply open it up and you'll find Intel and AMD folder. Now, if you use an AMD CPU, you can run the AMD CPU priority. If you run the Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. You can simply double click to run any registry and it will optimize your CPU for gaming. Second folder is RAM optimization. And over here, I have 32 GB RAM. So I need to double click and run the 32 GB RAM folder. Once again, if you do not like the settings, you can always double click reset to default and restore your settings. But I have left a ton of presets over here to choose your memory. Third folder is the Helldivers 2 optimization in which I have left Helldivers 2 high priority as well as GPU priority. You have to run both of them in order to get better FPS and maximum performance in your game. Last is the Windows important tweaks and this is a completely optional folder. You have to simply run all of these registries in order to get better performance and it will disable unnecessary services and features of your windows that consumes processes in the background first one is unnecessary services second one will disable your background applications third one will disable downloading maps disabling transparency enable clear page file at shutdown improve your system's responsiveness for better input latency and lastly is win32 priority separation for better booting and cpu usage once again, if you want to revert these settings, you can always revert them from the revert registries folder. Once you're done with that, close your FPS pack and now you have to follow the best in-game settings in Helldivers 2. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then you have to go over to the options part right over here. Now, first thing first is the display settings in which you'll find your UI brightness. Now, I've already set this thing, but you can click on change brightness to set it for yourself. However, the main part is right under here. The graphics device should be your graphic card and the screen device should be your native screen of your PC. Resolution, I'm playing it on 1920 by 1080, but you can always downscale your resolution to get better performance. For render scale, I am going with performance and you guys can go with ultra performance if you have a super low end PC, but I'd suggest you guys to go with performance or balanced. Both of them will give you the best FPS possible. For display mode, always make sure to go on full screen and frame rate limit should be set to off. VSync should also be set to off as well. After that, simply press tab to apply these settings. Then go down to the graphics settings over here, motion blur, Set this thing all the way down to zero. Motion blur directly affects your FPS, so keep this thing to zero. Depth of field, you can keep it on, but I suggest you guys to keep it off for better shooting experience. Bloom should also be set to off. It doesn't really impact your gameplay in a very negative way, but if you guys want things to glow and get your enemies marked well, you can keep it on as well. Sharpness, set this thing to 0.75, it will be great. Texture quality, I have set this thing to medium, but if you have a poor computer, you can go with low. For object detail quality, you can set this thing to medium as well. Render distance, go with low because it will increase your FPS drastically. Shadow quality, keep it low. Particle quality, keep it lowest. Reflection quality, lowest. Space quality, low. Ambient occlusion, off. Screen space, global illumination, off. Vegetation and rubble density, medium. Terrain quality, medium. Volumetric fog quality, this is a massive FPS impactor and you have to set this thing to lowest. Volumetric cloud quality, set this thing to lowest. Lightning quality, medium. Anti-aliasing, on. Once that's done, press your tab key and now you are on the best graphic quality possible for your game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have missed to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.